welcome to another tarot inspired yoga class so today as you can see we have a little bit different of a camera angle than usual that's because this class is going to be a little different than usual but don't panic it will be fun we're just getting out of the box because today's card is the queen of pentacles now the queen of pentacles is the ultimate earth mother she's the kind of person who you feel safe around they're so motherly and supportive and helpful in every single way possible we all have that person in our lives maybe it's your mom who's always there to support you no matter what maybe it's the quote-unquote mom friend who always has tons of snacks and supplies in their purse and always has an answer for everybody no matter what they need everyone has that person who is the one who nurtures us and loves us no matter what is always there to give advice and love and support that person is so important to have in our lives because each and every one of us needs support at some point in our lives right doesn't matter how independent you are on a day-to-day -day, it's important for us to rely on each other because you know this is a very supportive ecosystem that we live in we depend on our families and friends and neighbors for support in various times in our lives and you know we often give that support right back to those same people so we're celebrating support today with our queen of pentacles class um, so our different setup here is we're going to, wherever you are in your space, your yoga space, make sure that you have a wall or a door like I have that is free of anything hanging on it. We want a nice clean surface on our door or wall today and set up the short end of your mat right up next to that wall. So go ahead and pause me, set up just like that whenever you're ready we're also going to need some props as always the wall is going to be our main prop today we're going to be doing an entire flow on the wall which i'm very excited about uh, one other prop you definitely will need is a bolster a cushion a pillow anything like this i'll be using this cushion right here we're going to be using that just right at the beginning of class for one of our warm-ups. Anything that can give a little cushion to your knees. So grab those props, set up next to the wall, grab any other props that you might need today in your vinyasa flow class, and we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to start standing today, facing our wall, and we're going to measure when we hinge forward with our hips, place our hands against the wall we want this to feel like a halfway lift you know our traditional halfway lift our hands are either on our shins or on the ground we're lifted about halfway we're lengthening forward with our torso but this time we're placing our hands on the wall for support that earth mother energy is going to be supporting us through the floor with our feet through the wall with our hands we're using it all so this might depend on how long your torso is how long your legs are it's gonna be different for everyone but I want you to take a moment look at the floor look at the mat you're practicing on and make a mental note of where your feet are when you hinge forward halfway and press your hands into the wall your arms are straight one long line of energy from the hips all the way out into the hands and into the wall. Make a mental note of where your feet are. Maybe your mat has markings like me, maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't have any markings, you might even wanna grab either just a little piece of duct tape or something to mark where your feet are because we're gonna be utilizing this position in a couple different ways today. So mark it off make a mental note we're just going to hang here for a moment 
Lengthen out through the spine. Press the hands into the wall. Press out from the shoulders. And then take a moment just to sag into the shoulders. Sometimes this can feel good. Dip the pelvis forward. Let the chest fall a little farther. Let the spine curve. And just get a nice shoulder stretch here. And then press into the wall with the hands again. Draw the core in, lengthen the tailbone back behind you, press the hands strongly into the wall. One long line of energy here, super strong in the upper body and the torso, activating the core. Take a moment here, feel that strength, feel the support of the wall, and then let go of that rigidity and just sink into the shoulders. Maybe bounce a little bit if that feels good. And then one more time. Lengthen out through the spine. Lengthen the tailbone back behind you. Press the hands into the wall. Draw the core in towards the body. Super strong line of energy from the hips all the way out through the hands. And then slowly lift back up. Beautiful. So from here, we are going to grab our cushion, pillow, whatever you got. And we're gonna do a little King Arthur stretch against the wall. So if you haven't heard of this, feel free to watch me set up. Getting that pillow maybe a few inches away from the wall. We're gonna get into a lunge-like position with the left foot forward. So plant that left foot down. And then we're gonna place our right knee right on top of that cushion. And the top of the right foot is against the wall. So make sure there's plenty of space between the right knee and the left leg, because that will give you just more space between the hips, easier to balance. So the top of the right foot is pressing into the wall. The knee is on our cushion and the left foot is planted in front of us. So you decide the intensity of this King Arthur stretch. Torso up nice and tall. Lengthen the tailbone down, slight tuck. We're getting a stretch through the front of the right quad, the front of the right hip. Stretching everything out. The farther away from the wall you are, the less of a stretch. The closer to the wall, the more deep of a stretch. So you decide the intensity here. And we're just gonna stay here a moment, still in our King Arthur stretch. Lengthen down through the tailbone, torso up nice and tall. Don't forget to breathe. One of my favorite, favorite deep quad stretches. From here, make sure your left foot is widened out so your legs are on train tracks. Make sure you feel super balanced here. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach the right arm up and over and press the right hip out to the right. So getting kind of off kilter. And then switch it up, left arm up overhead, left hip out to the left. Pretend like you're in a very skinny hallway and you're trying to hit each hip against each wall. The walls are really close to you. We're gonna reach the right arm up and over, pop the right hip to the right, left arm up and over, left hip to the left. Taking your time, going from right to left, Seeing how the hip stretch can change depending on which way your hips are leaning. Right side, left side, a couple more times here. Right, left, right, and left. Go ahead and lower the arms down. Take a moment to reset. From here, we're just gonna get out of our King Arthur stretch, lower the hands down to the mat, 
Maybe swivel the right foot out to the side and stand back up to center. Okay, let's do that on the other side. Shake out the feet if you need to, get some movement. Then we're going right back to the other side. So the right foot is planted in front, cushion stays where it is. You can always move it if one side feels a little more intense than the other, feel free to back out of it. We're gonna place our left knee down on the mat and the top of the left foot is pressing into the wall. Torso sits up nice and tall, lengthen the tailbone down towards the mat. You can widen the right foot out to the right, help keep your balance. We don't wanna fall down. <laughs> so let's just stay here in our King Arthur, right foot forward, left knee on our cushion. And just take a few breaths, lengthen the tailbone down, slight lift in the pelvis here. Lengthen the spine up towards the ceiling, crown of the head reaches up. Think about pressing that left hip forward as much as feels comfortable. Again, you can readjust your cushion farther away, a little less intense, closer to the wall, a little more intense. Totally up to you. Mm, just getting a nice passive stretch into those quads and hip flexors. Those can be really tight, especially if you're like me and you work at a desk all day. So this is a great way to utilize the wall as a prop for passive stretching in a way to open up those tight spots that get super tight after sitting in a chair all day. So we're gonna move our hips just like the other side. So we'll start by reaching the left arm up overhead and just swaying the left hip towards the left. Imagine you're in a skinny little hallway, the walls are right next to you. We're just trying to bump that hip into the left wall and then switch, right arm up overhead Press the right hip towards the right. Keep your balance here. And just go back and forth, taking note of how this feels on the hips, on the quad, how it changes as you make these tiny little micro movements. Nothing super intense with the hips. Just swing them side to side. Changing up our King Arthur stretch. A couple more times each way. To the left. To the right. To the left. And to the right. Great job. Back up to center. Lower our hands to the mat. Swivel the left ankle towards the right. And stand back up. Ooh, shake it out. That can be super intense of a stretch. Go ahead and move your cushion out of the way. We won't be using it any longer. And we're gonna make our way down to the floor with our feet facing the wall. So, lay down on the back, bend through the knees and place the soles of the feet on the wall at a comfortable distance. Knees are about at a 90 degree angle here. We're gonna continue opening up our hips with some figure fours at the wall. Now we've all done figure fours where you cross one ankle over the knee and hug the leg in with the hands. Now, that's of course always accessible, but if you want to do a more supportive version of figure four, a wall is a great way to do it. You don't have to use your hands, the wall will support you. So take, your left ankle, cross it over the right thigh. Now, this can be not super intense at this degree away from the wall. Maybe it is for you, maybe it isn't. Just assess your body today and pressing that left knee out to the left. If you're not quite feeling it, you want a little bit more, all you gotta do Scooch closer to the wall. <laughs> Nobody's watching you. Just move however you need to move. And maybe this feels like more of a stretch for you. Again, the degree 
of closeness to the wall is totally up to you. Flex through that left foot. Press that left knee out to the side. And stay here in your figure four, opening up the outer hip. It can feel really nice. Starting out of practice. Maybe you want to sway that right knee left to right. This can be a really helpful version of figure four. If you feel like when you're grabbing with your hands, you don't feel super solid. You have to focus on your balance, make sure you're not falling over. I've been there. So doing this at the wall, the wall is so solid for you. So support it. The wall is our earth mother today, supporting us in whatever way, shape or form we need. Sway side to side. You can walk the foot up for a little less, walk the foot down for a little more. Just play with it a little bit. My favorite is rocking side to side because you can get into different parts of the hip rather than when you just stay still. Stay here for a couple more breaths. And when you're ready, straighten out through the right leg, uncross, and we'll go to the other side. So press the right foot into the wall. You can always start off a little bit farther away because again, different hips, different lives. One hip might be tighter than the other. It might need something else. So, oh yes, press the left foot into the wall, cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Stay here for a moment, press out through the right knee. See how this feels. Flex through the right foot. And if you're like, okay, this is fine, but I could use a little bit more. That's when you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. A little bit closer, as close as you would like. Readjust as many times as you need. We are here to use our support in any way that feels right for your body. Maybe you start to play with swaying side to side, like on the other side, getting into different parts of the hips, maybe playing with our range of motion a little bit. Each hip might need something a little bit different. And that is lovely. That is what yoga is for. We're testing, we're trying new things, we're getting creative. And let what feels good stick and what doesn't feel good, let it go. Maybe play with straightening out the left leg, bending it more. Trying things out. And when you're ready, uncross. And we are gonna scooch back a little bit, back to our 90 degree angle with the knees. Approximately, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're gonna do some bridge lifts from here, waking up the legs some more. So both feet are pressing into our wall. You can keep the hands along the sides, press the palms into the mat, if that's how you like to do your bridge poses. Uh, for me, for this one, I like to do robot arms. So bending at both elbows, hands up towards the sky, and we're pressing into the mat with our triceps. So just like a regular bridge, we're gonna lift our hips up off the mat and lengthen towards the knees. We're just in a little bit different position with our feet on the wall. So on the inhale, press into the feet, slowly peel hips up off the mat, lengthen the tailbone down towards the knees or up towards the knees at this angle. And then on the exhale, slowly lower, as slow as you can. Try to keep the control. 
So inhale, press the triceps into the mat, lift the hips up, press the feet into the wall, lengthen the tailbone down towards the knees, and exhale as slow as feels comfortable, lower the hips back down. Let's do a few more. Inhale, press and lift, lengthen, exhale, slowly lower back down. Inhale, press, lift, lengthen, exhale, slowly lower. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, press, lift, lengthen, exhale, slowly lower, all the way down. Whoo, baby. All right, I think we're done with that. Go ahead and lift up. However feels natural. Let's meet in tabletop position. We're done with the wall for a moment because we have to warm up our wrists before we get started. We're gonna do some stuff on the hands. So tabletop position, facing the wall or not facing the wall. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. From here, we're gonna do our palm peels. So what this looks like, if you haven't done this before, is we're gonna keep the length of the fingers onto the mat and just lift up with the palms, like so. So the fingers are flat down on the mat. We're lifting up onto the, lifting up the right palm up off the mat. And then like you're moving through molasses, slow, 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 gripping the fingertips into the mat, slowly, lower the palm all the way down. All right, let's do that on the other side with the left hand. So grip the fingertips into the mat, lift up the palm of the left hand, keeping the fingers down on the mat, the entire length of the fingertips. Grip the fingertips into the mat and moving so super, super slow, lowering the left palm down. We want to try to keep the hips steady, the shoulders steady, everything else steady except for the palms. So let's do another on each side. Right palm lifts and slow, slow, slow lower. Left palm lifts, slow lower. Right palm lower. Left palm lower. One more each side, right palm. Lower, left palm, and lower. Now you can keep going with that, just doing one at a time, or you can play with lifting both palms at once. A little bit of an extra challenge to keep everything else stationary. So remember, lengthen the tailbone back behind you, tighten the core, keep everything where it is, and then play with lifting up both palms and lowering together. Try to keep both palms moving at the same rate. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Can always do one at a time. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Lean back, roll through the wrists. A few more wrist stretches here. We want to make sure our hands and our fingers are all ready to go. Just turn the fingertips back towards the knees, palms down on the mat. And just stretching through the forearms, leaning back and forward. Maybe flip onto the tops of the hands, fingertips facing towards each other. Rock left to right. Moving the palms in different directions and just putting some weight in them. We're preparing our hands, letting them know that we're going to be putting some weight in them today and they will be okay. We're just giving them a little heads up. Couple more breaths here. And then ending in a 
our typical tabletop position. Let's do some cat and cows before we get into it. Inhale, gaze forward, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, chin towards chest. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, round and tuck. Inhale, open, arch the back. Exhale, tuck and round. Press the back of the heart up towards the sky. A couple more times here. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Beautiful. Lift up onto the shins and up to a stand. We're ready for our Queen of Pentacles wall inspired support flow. So remember when we were measuring where our feet needed to be, when we folded forward and place our hands on the wall. Do you remember where it was? If you don't, grab some tape, a little trinket, place it right next to your mat at that spot. For me, it's about halfway down my mat. So I'm gonna make a mental note. We are going to start here, hinge at the hips, fold forward like a halfway lift, press the hands into the wall. We're starting our flow, but we're gonna move slow at first because some of these movements might feel kind of different than what we normally do. So press the hands into the wall, press out of the shoulders, one long line the entire length of the spine from the hips all the way to the crown of the head. Beautiful. From here, we're going to move to a wall supported warrior three. So move that left foot slightly closer to the center and lift the right leg up behind you. Feel free to reset the feet, the hands, whatever you need to do. Right toes point down towards the ground. Flex through the right foot like it, you could kick through a wall behind you. Super strong back leg here. One long line of energy from the fingers all the way down to the right foot. Supported warrior three. Now we're going to open up to a supported half moon. So open the hips up towards the right. Right toes out, face out towards the right. Plant the right hand or left hand on the wall and slowly play with lifting the right hand up. Supported half moon. Beautiful. Lower back down to supported warrior three, close the hips up, and then touch the right toes down on the mat. Maybe scooch that left foot forward. Keep the hands planted on the wall. So the left knee is bent, both toes face forward. We're in a wall supported warrior one tug that left hip back right hip forward super strong in the legs from here we're going to keep the arms long and just lift the torso straight up arms reach up we're in warrior one traditional warrior one letting go of the wall from here we're going to lean back on the right leg lift the left knee up and hug it in towards the body. Play with our balance a little bit. Moving towards dancing Shiva. So let go of the leg. Kink the left knee out towards the left. Right foot out towards the right. Bend through the standing leg. And the arms out to the side. Dancing Shiva. Inhale, straighten the leg. Left knee up. Cross the right foot over the left foot, both feet planted on the mat, and whoop, turn around, facing to the short side of the mat on the opposite side of the wall. So we turned around. From here, inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Traditional forward fold. Maybe grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Feel free to bend through the knees, give your hamstrings a break. 
lower the hands down to the mat. Step the feet back to downward facing dog. First downward dog of the day. Pedal out through the feet. Move the hips side to side. Any little micro movements that feel good in your downward dog, get you settled, focused. <sighs> deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful. From here, inhale, move forward, plank pose. Lower the knees or keep them lifted for a challenge. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower through chaturanga. Widen the feet. Inhale, press into the hands, lift up, cobra pose. Send the hips back, tuck the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now, from here, we're gonna get a little weird using the wall again. Do you remember where your feet were in your wall supported half lift? If you remember, walk your hands back where your feet were at on your mat. If you need to remeasure, <laughs> feel free to do so. So your hands are where your feet were. So guess where your feet are gonna go? That's right, on the wall where your hands were. We're doing a nice inversion here. Might be a surprise to you, but that's okay. We're gonna try it out. See how it feels. A wall supported L shape handstand is what we're doing here. If you've never done a handstand before, you might be like, oh my God, what is she talking about? But don't worry, don't worry. If you haven't done it before, I will demonstrate. So my hands are where my feet were. So what I'm gonna do from here in our short stance downward dog, is I'm gonna place one foot on the wall and then another foot on the wall. So I'm in a kind of squat. And from here, it's kind of scary Press into the feet, straighten out the legs. You can bend, straighten, bend, straighten, and then lower the feet back down. So as you can see, I didn't fall over. The wall was supporting me. So if handstand is not in your regular practice, you've never done that before, give it a try, see how it feels. This is why we warmed up our wrists and just know that the wall is gonna support you. If this is something you've done lots of times, maybe you can try lifting one leg up and then the other, but that's just a little extra bonus, not required. So let's do that one more time together. Our hands are in our special spot where our feet were. We're in our short stance, downward facing dog. All you gotta do Place one foot on the wall, and then the second foot on the wall. And then straighten out through the legs, bend. Straighten, bend. And then walk the feet down. You did it. Great job, everyone. Okay, now that we walked through that, we ended our L-shape handstand at the wall. Our hands are right where our feet were, and now we're in kind of a tabletop position. Cross the ankles behind you, turn towards the right, and just unwind, landing in, sitting down on our mat, facing the wall. If you weren't sure how we did that, don't worry. Just get right where I am, and we're gonna lay right down on the mat and place the feet on the wall. Maybe scooch forward so your knees are at a 90 degree angle. We're going back to those bridge lifts again. So hands are either planted on the mat, arms outstretched, or you can do robot arms like this, bent at the elbows, fingertips facing up towards the ceiling, and press the triceps into the mat. So we're gonna do three of these, both feet on the mat, Exhale all the air out of the system. Inhale, press the feet into the mat. Press the triceps into the mat. Lift the hips. Lengthen the tailbone towards the knees. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Press. Lower. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Lengthen. Exhale. 
exhale, lower. Now, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, just a little extra bonus, lift one leg up off the wall, and we'll use just our right leg to lift. So let's give it a try. If this is not calling to you, just continue with both feet on the wall. So press into the right foot, press the triceps into the mat, lengthen the tailbone down, inhale, press, lift, exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, press, lift, exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, press, lift, exhale, lower. Lower the foot, both feet off the wall. We're going to do the same thing to turn around. So lift up onto the hands, cross right ankle over left, turn towards the right, standing in a downward facing dog. Everybody meet me here. Walk the hands back towards the feet in a standing forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Press the palms together. Right ankle behind left, cross them over. And unwind. Ending in Tadasana, facing the wall. Right back where we started, ready for the other side. So, let's do that again. Other side. And then we'll repeat, moving maybe a little bit quicker, with a little less repetition. All right. Starting in Tadasana. Remember where your feet were in your half lift, supporting the wall. So I'm backing my feet up about halfway down my mat. Hinge of the hips, fold forward. Press the hands into the wall. Press out through the shoulders. Draw the core in towards the body. Lengthen the tailbone back behind you. Press out through the hands. Press the crown of the head forward. One long line of energy from the hips forward into the hands and into our supportive earth mother wall. Beautiful. From here, walk the right foot slightly in towards the middle. We're moving towards supportive warrior three. Lift the left foot up and back. Toes point down, flex through the left foot. One long line of beautiful, strong energy from the hands all the way down to the left foot. Press into the floor with the right foot. Slight micro bend in the right knee. From here, open the hips up towards the left, moving towards supported half moon. So right hand stays on the wall. Hips open towards the left, left toes towards the left. Maybe lift the right hand. Open the shoulders up. Supportive half moon. Beautiful. Close it up, place the left hand on the mat. Back to supported warrior three. Lower the left toes down. Maybe scooch the right foot forward. Walk the feet out onto train tracks. Bend through that right knee. Hands stay on the wall. We are in wall supported warrior one. Right foot forward, left foot back. Tug that right foot back in space, or right hip back in space, excuse me. Left hip slightly tugs forward. Strong arms, strong legs. From here, keeping the arms super straight, we're gonna lift our torso, arms up towards the sky. In warrior one, traditional warrior one, right foot forward. Take a moment here. Lean all the way back into the left foot. Draw the right knee in towards the body. Give it a squeeze with the hands. Take a moment, get your balance. Moving towards dancing Shiva. So let go of the right knee. Kink the right knee towards the right, left foot towards the left. Bend through the standing leg, arms out to the sides. Dancing Shiva. Inhale, straighten through the left leg, right knee up, cross the left, right ankle over the left. Turn to the right, in Tadasana, facing the back of our mat. Beautiful. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up. Press the palms together. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Maybe grab opposite elbows for a nice rag doll. Bend through the knees if you'd like. Let the torso drape over the thighs. Sway side to side. Enjoy the rag doll. Lower the hands. Plant them on the mat. Step the feet fat back to downward facing dog. Take a moment, pedal out through the feet. Taking our time to get situated here. And then we'll move through our vinyasa. Inhale, move forward, plank pose. Maybe lower the knees, maybe keep them lifted. Exhale, bend through the elbows, lower through chaturanga. Widen the feet out, press into the hands. Lift up, high cobra, back bend. Send the hips back, tuck the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now, we are back to the dreaded wall supported L handstand. So, same as we did on the other side. Place the hands on the mat in the spot where your feet were in our wall supported half lift. Find the right position for your hands. Your hands are about shoulder width distance, by the way, if I didn't mention that. From here, place one foot on the wall. Find your spot, take your time. Left foot on the wall. Maybe you're in a crouch. Press out with the legs, straighten them out, and bend. Press out and bend. One more time, press out. Bend, lower the feet, lower the knees. Great job. Cross the left ankle over the right. Turn towards the left. Unwind. So we're sitting on our butt, facing the wall. We're going to plant our feet on the wall and lower down to our backs. Find that position with a 90 degree angle approximately for the knees, moving towards our bridge lifts on this side. So robot arms if you'd like, press into both feet, press the triceps into the mat, tuck the tailbone and lift the hips, lengthen towards the knees. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press, lift, Lengthen, exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, press, lift, lengthen. Lower down to the mat, great job. Now you know what's coming next. If you wanna keep both feet planted, please do. Otherwise, I think we did our right leg the last time, so we're gonna do our left leg. Lift the right foot up towards the sky, press the left foot into the wall and we'll do our one-legged bridge lifts. So, inhale, press the left foot into the wall, triceps into the mat, lift the hips, inhale, lengthen forward, exhale, lower. Inhale, press and lift, exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, press, lift, exhale, lower. Great job, both feet on the mat. This time we'll cross left ankle over right. Lift up onto the hands, almost forgot that part. Turn towards the left, unwind, downward facing dog. <sighs> From here, walk the hands back towards the feet, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, sweep the hands up, press the palms together, right ankle over left, turn towards the left, unwind into Dadasana, facing the wall. Really great job, everyone. I know that was different than our usual stuff, maybe a little more challenging, maybe just kind of, you know, we're twisting around the mat, just a little bit different, but we're challenging ourselves today because we know we have the support of the wall 
we have our props and we can trust ourselves to use our support systems to support us when we try something new, right? So go ahead and grab a drink. Maybe wipe away the sweat if you've got it like me. Take a moment to reset. We're gonna go through that one more time. This time, hopefully in a little bit more of a flow. Not necessarily one breath to movement because there's a lot of moving parts, but we wanna try to make it flow a little bit more. Move a little faster, maybe not as many pendulations. So let's give that a try. Take a deep breath and exhale. We have our support and we can count on ourselves. So let's do this, let's do it together. Find that spot, maybe halfway down your mat, facing the wall. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, plant the hands on the wall. Press into the hands, lengthen forward. Left foot slightly in, actually right foot slightly in. We're starting on the right side. Inhale, left foot up and back. Toes point down, wall supported, warrior three. Open the hips towards the left, plant the right hand. Open the left hand, open the shoulders, open the hips. Wall supported, half moon. Close the hips back up, plant both hands on the wall, warrior three. Lower the left toes down, right foot forward, bend through the right knee. Wall supported warrior one. Lengthen out through the arms. Inhale, lift the torso, warrior one. Lean back on the left foot, right knee in, hug it in. Right knee towards the right, left foot towards the left. Bend through the left leg, arms out to the side. Dancing Shiva. Inhale, lift up. Right ankle over left. Turn to face the back of the mat. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the hands. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, move forward. Lower the knees. Bend through the elbows. Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up to a back bend. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Here we go. Walk the hands back to the spot. One foot on the wall, other foot on the wall, in your squat. Press out and bend. Press out, bend. One more time. Press out, bend, lower the feet lower the knees right ankle behind left turn to the left down on our backs feet on the wall ready for our bridge lifts press the triceps press the feet inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower this time lift the right foot inhale lift Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lower both feet. Right ankle over left. Lift up onto the hands. Unwind. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands back. Forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up. Right ankle behind left. Unwind, arms by the sides, Tadasana. Walk the feet back to our special spot. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold. Left foot towards center. Lift the right foot. Wall supported, warrior three. Open the hips towards the right. Maybe lift the right hand. Wall supported, half moon. Close the hips, right hand on the wall, warrior three, lower the right toes, left foot a little bit forward, wall supported, warrior one. Lengthen out through the arms, inhale, lift the torso, warrior one. 
lean back on the right foot, lift the left knee, hug it in, left knee towards left, left foot towards right, bend to the standing leg, arms to the sides, dancing Shiva. Inhale, lift, left ankle over right, turn around, back of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead, press the palms together. Exhale, fold forward, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, move forward, plank pose, maybe lower the knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift, high cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Last time, let's do it. Walk the hands back to that spot. One foot on the wall, the other foot on the wall in our squat. Press, lengthen, and squat. Lengthen the legs and squat. Lengthen out and squat. Lower the feet, lower the knees. Left ankle crosses over right. Turn towards the left, unwind, landing on our butts. Lower down onto the mat, feet on the wall. All right, let's do it. 90 degree with the knees. Robot arms, press the triceps into the mat, press the feet into the wall. Inhale, lift the hips, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, almost forgot, lifting the left foot, press the right foot into the wall, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. I don't remember which foot we did. <laughs> lower both feet, left ankle over right, lift up onto the hands, unwind to the left, landing in downward facing dog. Walk the feet back. Hands back towards the feet, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press the hands together. Left ankle behind right. Swivel around. Tadasana, facing the wall. Oh baby, we did it. We made it through four rounds, two on each side. We got up on the wall. We press our feet into the wall, our hands into the wall. We did it all. So great job for making it through that flow. I think it's time to cool down. So take a moment. Standing, you can face me or the wall, whatever feels natural. In Tadasana, arms by the sides. Close your eyes. Just take a few breaths here. Keep a little buoyancy in the knees, slight micro bend. And just take a few breaths. Feel the heat we've created. Take a moment to feel the support of your own body here today. Maybe this was a flow that was a little out of the norm, but the wonderful thing about the human body is it is made to adapt. We can do hard things, we can do different things, and our bodies will be there working hard for us. So take a moment. Thank your body for all that hard work we just did today. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Beautiful. Open the eyes. We're going to do a few ragdoll circles. I might have done this before for our classes. Maybe not. But starting in Tadasana. Think about your arms and pretend they are made of jelly. Your arms have no bones, no muscles. They cannot move. All that can move is your torso. So if your arms can't move, we're going to hinge at the hips and fold forward and just let our arms rest on the mat. Maybe they just hang there. No muscular engagement in the arms. We're in a ragdoll position, so knees bent, torso 
laying on top of the thighs, maybe sway side to side. From here, we're going to lift up through the right. So draw the torso towards the right leg using the crunch of the right side body muscles. Lift up through the right. Arms are dead weight. Arms are made of jelly. Lifting up all the way to the stand. And then we're going to lower the same way we came. So leaning towards the right. Slowly lower the torso down towards the right foot and back towards center. <sighs> nice little spinal work here. Can feel super good after your back has done a lot of work, which we have today. Let's do the other side. Draw the torso towards the left leg. Arms are dead weight. Crunch through the left side body. Lift the torso up through the left side. Back to center. We're gonna lower the same way we came. So lean towards the left, lower towards the left foot, and back towards center. Doing that again, both sides. Lean towards the right, slowly lift up, arms are dead weight, through the right side. Lean towards the right, slowly lower down towards the right foot, and back towards center. Left side, draw the torso, left leg. Lifting up through the left side and to center. Leaning towards the left. Lower back down, left foot. And back towards center. Take a moment, rest here. Bow the head. Bend through the knees as much as you'd like. Maybe lean forward and back. Leaning towards the balls of the feet and then towards the heels. Maybe left and right. Forward, back, left, and right. Settling your movements, slowly lifting up through center. One vertebra at a time. Back up to standing. Beautiful. Great job, everyone. We're going to use our wall another time. There's always more. The wall is one of the greatest props we have. So. Left arm on the wall, you can either, we're doing a front of the shoulder stretch, so you can either lengthen out through the entire arm and place the arm on the wall like so. So my arm is straight on the wall, palm of the hand on the wall. Or you can bend through the elbow to a kind of cactus arm, plant the forearm in the hand on the wall and just lean into the left side. Probably you won't get your shoulder onto the wall, but we're just drawing it towards the wall. So either of those options are lovely. Cactus arm might be more intense. Keeping the torso facing forward and just leaning into that left arm. Cactus arm or straight arm, maybe play with both. And just really giving that front of the shoulder some love. Our shoulders did a lot of work in that L wall supported handstand. So it feels good to stretch them out a little bit. Wherever you are, lift up off the wall. Maybe swing that left arm around forward and back. And we'll do the other side. So same deal, you can change it up if one shoulder is different than the other. You can put the entire length of the arm on the wall, turn the torso towards the left, and just work on stretching the front of that right shoulder. Or you can bend into a cactus arm, place the forearm on the wall, and just work on leaning towards the wall. My shoulder does not come onto the wall like this, so probably yours won't either. We're just drawing it towards that general direction. Typically, cactus arm will feel more intense. So, choose what feels best for you. Stay here for a moment. Work in that stretch in the front of the shoulder. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Wherever you are, lift up out of the wall. Maybe swing the shoulder forward and back. Whew. Beautiful. From here, go ahead and get down on your mat. Lay down on your back. Lift all four limbs up to the sky. Dead bug pose. Maybe circle through the wrists, circle through the ankles. Not much muscular engagement here in the arms or the legs. Just giving our body a little different perspective. Get the blood rushing in a different direction and also giving our wrists and ankles some love. Circle in both directions. Hmm. From here, we're gonna get ready for our Shavasana, but of course we will have options. Hug both knees in towards the body, squeeze them tight and lower the feet down on the mat. All right, so from here, you can do a traditional Shavasana. Just make some space from the wall, lengthen out through the legs, arms by the side, and just relax like so. Or if you wanna continue the wall exploration, highly recommend grabbing your pillow, bolster, whatever you got, or even just a thin blanket or towel, placing it up against the wall. And we'll do legs up the wall as our Shavasana today. Totally up to you. If you prefer a traditional vinyasa, that's beautiful. So to get into legs up the wall, if this is not something you're used to, you just wanna sit with one hip against the wall, sitting on our cushion, our blanket, whatever you got. It's kind of awkward to get into, but sometimes you just gotta be awkward. So we're just gonna swivel, getting the hips as close to the wall as we can, lowering down onto the back body. My cushion's a little too, <laughs> too much height, but we'll make do. So we just kind of wiggle around until we get our hips close to the wall in a way that feels comfortable. Lengthen out the legs up the wall. It can feel really good to end your practice with your hips just slightly higher than your shoulders. Arms can be hands on the body, or arms out to the side. No engagement in the legs or the feet. Just let them flop out however they're gonna flop out. Close the eyes. And we'll stay here and legs up the wall for our final resting pose, Shavasana, for a few moments of quiet meditation.
start to deepen the breath. Come back to the present. Come back to the body. Start to wiggle through the fingers, wiggle through the toes. Moving slowly and mindfully through arms and legs. Maybe bend through the knees. Lean side to side with the knees, keeping the eyes closed. If you're on a prop, slowly roll off to the side, landing in fetal pose. Using your arm to prop up the head, knees in towards the body. Keeping the eyes closed, slowly lift up to a seat. Moving slowly and mindfully. Landing in a comfortable seated position. Hands on knees or thighs, sit up nice and tall. We'll end our class, as always, with one big communal breath together. Maybe the biggest breath you've taken yet today. So when you're ready, exhale the air out of the system. Take an inhale all the way to the top, sip in as much air as you can get. And exhale, sigh it out. Press the hands together at heart center and bow forward to seal your practice. Slowly lift the head and blink open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for another tarot inspired yoga class. I hope this kind of funky, different wall supported flow was something fun and different for you. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye friends.